How you doing, Mr. DJ back out sourcing Billboard's Hot 100 of August 29th, 1967, and uh, got a standard at number 77, up from 85 that week on Billboard's Hot 100. Let me bring it up for you right now. Anything Goes by Harper's Bazaar, best known for feeling groovy, but they also redid the standard Chattanooga Choo Choo which was a big adult contemporary hit. I believe that went to number one on adult contemporary charts. And to give a little perspective on this Lost 45, some of the big hits that you might remember from this Hot 100, got it up right, A Girl Like You by The Young Rascals. Heroes and Feelings by The Beach Boys. And Thank the Lord for the Night Time by Neil Diamond. That's at number 13. Come Back When You Grow Up Girl by Bobby Fee and The Strangers at number 14. Hypnotized by Luke James. Linda Jones, rather. Some of that sweet soul music at number 21. But let's go to this record at number 77. I almost made top 40. Even though it really wasn't top 40 material as much as much as it as it was soft rock or adult contemporary. Anything Goes by Harper's Bazaar. From the album Harper, from the album Anything Goes, the song started out in 1934. It was written by Cole Porter. It's written for a musical called Anything Goes. Anything Goes was about socialites, wealthy people, high-standing people during the Depression era back in the 30s, and the scandals that surrounded them. Sam Goodwin, was mentioned. Goldwyn rather was was uh, mentioned, referenced in this uh, in in this song. Sam Goldwyn had a movie out called Anna, or Nana rather. It was called Nana, and it bombed on the box office. One of the reasons why it bombed because the actress, her name was Anna Stein, S T E N or Stein or Stein. Her English was poor. She couldn't speak good English. But the thing was, nobody could understand her except for Sam Goldwyn, because Sam Goldwyn was originally from Eastern Europe. I read a good book about Sam Goodwin back in the early 90s. Detailed his career and how he got here to America uh, from, uh, I think he was originally from Poland or Russia. Became a huge movie mogul back in the 19-teens, 20s, and 30s. Gosh, it's been about 26 years ago I read that book. But anyway, let's get back to this record, though. Uh, Anything Goes by Harper's Bazaar. Uh, they redid this song. Nice. God, the harmonies are soothing. It's just... This is not a top 40. It's definitely not a top 10. But on adult contemporary, it's a shoe-in. Big time. Harmonies are soothing, relaxing, and it's just, it's just fantastic. Fantastic record. It peaked at 43. It almost made top 40. Almost. It was on Billboard's Hot 100. Let me bring that up. Billboard's Hot 100 for six weeks. And uh, I tell you, this is really interesting, though. You had these soft rock records that Harper's Bazaar did. Feeling Groovy, uh, Chattanooga Choo Choo, and Anything Goes. But one of the group members, Ted Templeman, later produced these kick-ass rock and roll albums by Van Halen. He produced their first album, particularly their first album with Janie's Crying, and he produced that. Ted Templeman did. He produced Montrose, M not Montrose, Montrose, Montrose's uh, debut album, or their album back in the mid '70s, Montrose. So this guy's got some. He's got some versatilities. Doing versatility, doing the soft rock, and then producing all these heavy metal records, heavy metal thunder. He produced five or six albums by Van Halen. Ted Templeman did. But in the '60s, remember uh, Harper's Bazaar doing the easy going records, going to e doing the easy going route. With Anything Goes, coming in at number 77 on Billboard's Hot 100 of July 29, 1967.